I train for 56, so when I get there, I'm ready. I can swim 56. As a kid, do you think it was a little harder because like you're competing and a kid always wants to win? So do you think it was a little harder competing when you were a kid, which got easier when you grew up because it's easier to take? Um, yes. Um, Siyempre, when you're young, you, you feel nervous. Right. Like, mm -hmm. napipikon ka pa, yeah. na, you know, kinakansyawan ka pag natalo ka. Marami ako narinig noon, hilig-hilig mo mag-swimming. Wala namang hilig ang swimming sa'yo. <laughs> so, later oh, on... Balikan mo sila ngayon. Oh, ano? <laughs> later on, you grow up and you say, ah, ganito pala dapat ang approach mo. So, you have to prepare yourself. You have to know in practice pa lang that you can break records, you can win the gold. And you have to train yourself mm -hmm. to believe that. And then once the, the time comes that you're asked to go up the blocks and you know race time, confidence is very high. Yes. You okay. cannot go there and apparently you didn't do your homework. Right. Mm -hmm. You should always prepared. be prepared. Mm -hmm. You have to know in practice na kaya mong gawin yun. Mm -hmm. And you always knew because yes. you were prepared. I always prepared. That's why I gave up all those you know, Socialization, and all that parties stuff. Parties with clowns. Sleep. Now he's big enough for it. He's the entertainer. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't drink any mga carbo, carbonated drinks, soft ah, drinks before. in 15 years. Huh? For 15 years? Yeah. Because? For your because, health? Uh, because gas. Because unheard of. Oh. You're only gas. Gas okay, yan so, eh. So, so kunyari, as a swimmer, ano yung mga bawal na pagkain? Um, wala naman actually yung bawal na pagkain. Um, sugar, I would say, would be uh, okay. number one no-no because, because doesn't it give it's you like energy? Um, it's it's too it's a different kind of energy. It's an energy that you will feel automatically. Right, just sugar rush. Yes, but that's bad because oh. it drops. Uh, Check out yeah, his I ring. Know, I know. Wait, maybe can show we his know? ring. Can we like close up on his ring? I'm sorry, it just caught I my know, attention. It's beautiful. Where'd you get it? Eighty-eight. <laughs> Oh, oh, they get, they award that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! So nice, beautiful. Pagawa tayo. Pagkopya. Pagkopya. Baro ah. Nice, actually. Kasi na ko pa na pansin. Sige, pagawa tayo ng ano? Silver naman. Pero hindi naman. Yeah. Para they believe na lang. Oh, silver and bronze. <laughs> okay, now it's silver. Sorry, as as you were saying before, I got distracted. I was like in awe of your ring. Well, yun nga. So sugar. Um, yeah, sugar is. Because uh, sugar rush and then you crash. Oh. Diba you crash when you have sugar, too much sugar. So that means that um, you cannot train as well tomorrow. Right. You do, you'll be dependent on Yes. Yeah, oh. so unless you take another sweet dose. Naman. So, so sugar, what else? Um, and carbonated, well, carbonated drinks. Yeah, gas. because um, yeah, especially pag malapit ng mga race, you feel pressure sometimes. Ng, uh, you know, tension, tension. stress, mm -hmm. a lot. So in the... Uh, Carbonated water reacts. Eh. Okay. It's very bad. Then you can't breathe. And mm -hmm. You feel bloated. And, and then you can't eat too much, also. No, you can't. Um, two hours before is your last you meal. Eat. Oh, wow. So, Oily food. Uh, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Uh, more, more energy, must happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm endorsing. Eh? So, no, so, meat. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a rule lesser the legs, the better. So, uh -huh. cow. Four, okay. pig, four, less none. Chicken, mm -hmm. dalawa lang, okay. Fish, mm -hmm. wala, okay. Oh, oh. less the legs, the better. Yeah, yeah. like with any that. diet for that matter. The less the legs, the better. Good. Yeah. That's good. I will not follow. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. So, so the, what about things you cannot do? Not just, are we done with the food? Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things you can't do, like aside from, of course, staying out late, um, activities. That uh, places where there's a lot of people na hindi mo masyadong kakilala because you because might get the virus oh ako. my gosh the reason is because you push your body so much every day to a limit that you're susceptible to yes disease. your immune system drops so the, the only way you can maintain the health that, that you've been working so hard for yes. the strength is if you're healthy mm -hmm. so pag pumunta let's say kunyari manonood kami ng sine mm -hmm. Oh my God. First showing. May mask ka ganyan. Yeah, kasi wala pang tao. Wala pang tao. Oh, oh. Yung mga 11 o'clock <laughs> movie oh. ng umaga. Your whole oh, life oh. changes. Yeah. It's really a lifestyle. It is. Yeah. It so is. did you mix with other swimmers? Since like, they're the only ones that can go to movies early. That's, yun, yun, yun na nga, ang, ano mo, ang life mo is, you have friends so, na sa, swimmers. Sa swimmers yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. so Eric and Cutie, no? we're gonna go on a break. And uh, when we come back, we'll get to know Eric, 
as a chairman, still as an Olympic swimmer, and as a father also. We're with Eric Buhayan, who has a lot of medals. How many exactly? We want to know. Jackie five, and I were like looking at your... 500 medals. 500? Yeah. Can I have one? 500? Yeah, I, I won uh, 15 gold medals in the SEA Games. I have uh, an Asian Swimming Championships bronze medal. And then through the years, uh, when I was started swimming, nine years, uh, 11, I started winning. So. Every month, I mean, I would win nine oh gold, gosh. ten gold, so all through those years. So, meron ka bang ano? Isang wall, isang room? Yeah, one room. Actually, this is a new house namin, Eileen. Mm -hmm. um, hindi ko pa na papa ayos talaga, but I have mm -hmm. the. I've selected the nice medals, the you mm -hmm. know, very meaningful medals. My first, yes, and then all the way to mm -hmm. the highest achievement. So, um, I want it to parang reflect, especially to my kids, to our kids. Oh, my nieces and nephews who go there na, you know these are momentos of, yes. of my of my past but as your father or as your uh, uncle or as your tito uh, you can also do it it's just you know if you want it it can happen okay so kunyari ako gusto kong matuto kay Eric Buhay oh. actually have, uh, I had a a, yeah I had a school but um, I, I had it um, uh, closed in 2001 when I got into government service. Mm -hmm. I had it from 94 to 01. I, the school uh, was able to teach uh, around 15,000 kids. Wow. So is it how true that if there's a little infant and you throw them in the water, they learn how to swim instantly? Yeah, Just that's that's uh, natural. Instinct. Instinct. But um, you advise that? How young is young? No. Uh, no. Uh, no. The reason I, I don't advise it is because babies uh, remember the trauma there's no way that you can teach a, a baby <gasps> to unlearn the trauma yeah, yeah. there's yeah. no way and the only way you can teach it is by you know the dalimon talaga sa water ilulublub mo yung head di ba mm -hmm. so ang ginagawa ko is uh, i normally normally recommend mga 3 years old pataas 3 4 yan tuturuan ko na mag swimming they do they it's first 2 3 sessions is play mm -hmm. just get comfortable i have toys that they you know, then we play just dunking their head underwater, yes. and, lang, and then then the lessons come. So so during the lessons, because some mga parents, so yeah, they're they're, yeah, cool. they're watching. They're watching, but not inside the pool. No. no, not in the pool. They're just on deck. Ah, so they're all like holding holding on the gutter. You mga the, three year old. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then how many students to a teacher? Um, before, I yeah? teach with uh, three assistants. Pag kids, uh, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Pag uh, seven years old up, 50. 50? Per hour. 50 students per 50 hour. 50 students per hour. Let's say a kid at the age of three tries to go swimming and they f they're like really traumatized, they're not used to the water. How many sessions until you say, uh, maybe let's wait another year? Um, I don't say no to that. You, I, you I will teach. Um, I, I, what I do is I teach them to get comfortable with the water first. Mm -hmm. uh, if if there was an experience, I talk to the parents, right. did you do this? Number yeah. one. <laughs> did did um, lublub mo ba? Yes, kanyan. Kasi natutuwa yes. tayo eh. As, yeah. Anak ko, biglang gaganon mo. Hindi mo alam na yung paglubog mo, nakainirin ng tubig, pumasok yung tubig sa ilong, they remember it. And yeah. say, Gosh. I don't like to be in the water, I don't like feeling. I hope my, my daughter doesn't um, remember what they so, did. You did that, Anika? Uh, if, if that happens, she loves ano, the water. five years old, yan, six. Dapat uh, i-retrain mo. You bring him to a pool. Tapos, mm -hmm. just let her play. And then you play by yourself. If she will dunk her head then underwater, oh. then that's a good sign. You can already start the lesson. But if she doesn't do that, wait another year. Well, not really a year. You can wait another week. Just give, you know, another session. So you feel the, the best, sorry. The best um, age is a three? Yeah, to, to learn to swim. Huh? To learn the, to youngest, swim. the youngest. Three years the, old. the best is my seven. 
because uh, from zero, from birth to seven years old, that's a you know a character building. You know. That's when they absorb everything. They absorb. Chaka yeah. physically, at seven, biglang lalaki yan eh. Biglang right. mga you know they grow mm -hmm. up faster at that age. So it's very nice to see them develop. They get stronger. They eat more. At what age is it safe to leave a kid alone in the pool? Um. Because there are a lot of incidents, you know, like kids just walking and they can no. swim, they slip, and some or they just some, run straight yeah, inside. Accidents. Uh, if your son or daughter does not know how to swim or even just dog paddle, don't leave them by themselves at any age. Don't any you think age. all schools should have swimming as PE? Oh yes. Because I, I, I'm not familiar with other schools, but in our school it was PE. Grade one, grade two, grade three. There, there's no way anyone can even get out of grade one not knowing how to swim. Yeah, it's and very important. Looking back, it was such an advantage because a lot of my classmates didn't even know how to swim, but because it was in our Required, school, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like natural and normal yeah. that everyone swam. Everybody was uh, parang classmate mo din sila sa swimming lessons. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's okay. different. You gotta know, it's, I think it's a necessity in life. Yeah, I, yeah, is. I, I believe it so. Is. Yes. I feel sorry for those And if you watch swim. TV, you see the news, you know, um, yeah. may tsunami, may ganito, you know, yeah. at, at least parang, you know, kahit papano, although tsunami is really, it's huge. Yes. Uh, Some sometimes, sense of security. Yeah. 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 Whether on a plane or a boat, on a, mm -hmm. if you, well, you saw that, water sports. Um, you Bumagsak na boats mm -hmm. off from Lund. It's very near the shore. Right. Oh, so you right. can actually really yeah, swim. Yeah, it's 50 meters or 100 meters away. Yeah, I, I was um, swimming 15 kilometers a day. <gasps> okay. So, lang yun. And then I would teach kids. Ang aking um, criteria for passing is if they can cross 25 meters by themselves. Huh? Ah. So, so it's, you know, it's there's a chance that they, and it's like riding a bike. Once you so learn, you, you, can, you don't yes. forget. So speaking about children, you have three daughters. Yes. 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 And uh, the ages are eight. Eight, five, five and, and uh, one, two months. Two months. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. So three girls. Have you been teaching them? Because marunong na sila. Um, yes, actually. Um, you actually taught them how to swim? Yes, uh, slowly. And mm -hmm. I don't want to push them. Because People ask me, do you want your kids to go into swimming? You know, so yes. sabi ko ngayon. That's a, that's a difficult question to answer because I don't want my daughters to be compared to me in swimming. Yes, yes. true. I don't, they might be faster than you, huh? It, they could be. So <laughs> parang, Remember um, the girls beat you. Yeah, no. yeah. So <laughs> parang sometimes, kasi kunyari, my sister, si Camille, mm -hmm. goes into UP and tinanong siya, are you related to Eric Buhay? Oh yes, uh, he's my brother. Okay, you joined the swimming team. You know, I did not even ask if, you, if, no if she knew. You know? So, ganun yung problem. Additional pressure. You know, she yeah. might win one gold in the Sea Games, and then they'll say, "Ah, hindi ka kasing galin ng tatay mo. Oh, tatay yeah. mo six golds, you know, fifteen oh. golds. Ikaw isa lang." So. When you were younger, what did you do with your medals? Like, I'm sure, like when you got your first one, you didn't expect to get ten million more. So, did you like store it in nice glass yeah, containers? Yeah, I had um, my first mga twenty bayon na sa parang poster, parang picture frame, mm -hmm. tapos I had the picture na naka-Indian seat ako, tapos katabi. Then later on, just got many and many, <laughs> so nagpagawa ng parang stante sa wall, mm -hmm. and then I had hooks. Sabit na lang. <laughs> Sabit na lang. <laughs> sa dami kasi. So. Okay, nung niligawan mo si Eileen, mm -hmm. okay, were you, uh, what, what part of your life was it? I wasn't a swimmer anymore. Uh, so no more long hours of but training. But of course you had a name. Ah, uh, well, my, I, you know, the funny thing is I knew my father-in-law before mm -hmm. I met Eileen. Ah, okay. Because uh, my father-in-law, Secretary Ramita, is uh, part of the of the Malacan of Malacanang with uh, President uh, President Ramos. Yes. Fidel Ramos. So uh, since I was swimmer during the time uh, up to a coach. Uh, during the time of President Ramos, nakikita, ko, nakikita kami. So, nakikita, nung naliligaw ko kay Aileen, nakita niya ako sa bahay niya. <gasps> sabi ko, sabi niya, ano yung nagawa mo dito? Ah, hinatid ko lang po si Aileen. <laughs> <laughs> so, kailangan sa trabaho mo, papakitaan mo na magaling ka. Because syempre, syempre. Because naliligaw mo yung anak. Your syempre. wife is on her third term as congresswoman. Yes. You, are you gonna take her place in 2020? Uh, I don't know, but right now, uh, you know what's important with with us is the, our, our children you know so 
it would be a family decision on who, but I think my sister-in-law, Lisa, mm -hmm. will be continuing and interested. Really? Yeah. Lisa, you know Lisa, yeah, right? Lisa. So, so kami naman ni Eileen will just, uh, kasi you know, if, when I listen to Eileen speak, gusto niya yan, eh, she, she misses the, you know, those, she, she has very rare time. Mm -hmm. So parang mga, special moment so to speak na nakita niya gumawa nito yung anak niya ginawa to ganun so na may isip niya na nasasabi niya yan so parang ang dating sa akin is gusto niya talaga to spend more time with with yeah and you have a newborn now yeah and she's doing a great job lagang oh. sacrifice she, if she has to do something magbe ano siya pump siya mm -mm. tapos 3 hours sa labas babalik ulit para mag breastfeed so, Pwede na lang nagdalin yung baby sa kongreso? Even Pwede, sa pero ano pala eh. Um, she was, uh, Irela was born premature, no? So yes, now yes. she's seven months. Siguro, siguro another month or two. Pwede, Pwede nang na. ilabas na. Yes. Tsaka hindi pa rin, di ba? May kasabi kang hindi pa na bibinyagan. Ah, so next month okay. kami. Oh wait, then. so uh, up until the kid is baptized, you shouldn't take the kid out? May ganun eh. That's mga, what, yeah, that's what they say. Uh, that's why I, I baptized my baby two weeks so I could take her out right away. <laughs> take them out, like take them out, out, out anywhere? Out, out going, to go out. Yes. Going to the, I never heard of that. Walking out, going to the Madami mall. Madami mga kasabihan. Diba? Maraming kasabihan, so. What's the feeling of like climbing on the platforms and knowing you're gonna take the highest one and uh, getting well, you know, it's like what, what I would dream about, uh, QT, was the national anthem. So that's what I, that's why I pushed myself to win gold medals because I want to hear the lupang hiniran being played. So, oh. in but my head, when I mm -hmm. close my eyes and I dream and I, I wish I was winning the gold medal. That is my conclusion to the picture that I have in my head, yeah. that the national anthem will be played, played, and I will be singing, and I'm standing on number one. Can I can I picture? Do you sing? Ko. Yes, I sing. You sing because normally they'll focus you on the camera and. You know, then you sing your national anthem and you're so proud. Oh yes. Yeah. You don't even forget the lyrics, no? No, no, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. So you dream of it, and then you visualize, and then you you hear, you have this all the time. Yes, I believe in that. Yes. Completely. Yeah. When I won my 91 SEA Games, I won six golds in one SEA Games. Wow. Um, I started a year of thinking of the races, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. In the beginning, it was like parang telegrama, still shots, you know, black and white. Mm. Boom, I'm here, I'm standing in the gando, ganyan, ganyan. After a year, it's like full color, your, 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 you know, na. meron ka nang, yeah, meron ka nang, <laughs> oh. may kumapalakpak na, ganyan. And then the day comes that it starts, it's just walking, parang you're walking inside your dream. Wow. Parang you're just you're walking. You're walking to the reality. The reality. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then the gosh. moments come, and that's why I was, bringing my finger up one two three kasi sa, sa, a year ago inisip ko na yun. one two three four five pero nag bonus pa ako nag six dahil nanalo ko may sarili so six ah, gold medals kami pero sa head ko five lang ang naiisip mm -hmm. ko na mananalo ako five gold medals wow so is that the most you won five or six uh, five six in time. one sea yes. games i won 15 total Wow. Wait, what's your favorite? Because you have, you won like breaststroke, yeah. backstroke, butterfly. Um, Wait, did you watch Zohan? Did you see his yeah, butterfly? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your comment on that? <laughs> Sobra naman yun. <laughs> he was faster yun. than the jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what was your favorite? It's over the water na siya. Ayan, yeah, di ba? <laughs> butterfly. Oh, what's your, yeah, what's your um, favorite butterfly. stroke? Butterfly. Butterfly? Is that so hard? It is. Um, I chose butterfly because worldwide there was going to be less, lesser Com uh, competitors, yeah, that because it's harder, right? Rather than freestyle, yes. And uh, all swimmers would learn to do that. Mm -hmm. Pero in butterfly mas ko konte, so at least in chances ko to be making the Olympic games and uh, being an international medalist mm -hmm. is higher. So most of your wins were butterfly. Butterfly most of the time. I held, actually, I held um, in my swimming career nine of the twelve. Philippine records. Wow. Nine of the 12. That's Philippine. Wow. That's huge. Open records. For butterfly. Yeah. Not just butterfly. Backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle, oh. all individual medley. And then towards the end of my career, I focus on the butterfly. So that's your favorite? Yeah. Okay, so you have 100 meters, 200, 400. Yeah. Everything. So He's got everything. Kayang -kaya. He's got 500 medals. Kayang kaya lahat. <laughs> what was your favorite of all the competitions that you've 
done and did? And um, well, of course, the 91 Sea Games because uh, in my career I swam 85 Indonesia, 87 uh, Thailand, 87 Indonesia, 89 Malaysia, and then 91 was Philippines. 